here at Qualicum Beach and I found uh, something to talk to you guys about. So this is a crab molt. Um, let's take a look at this crab. I know this is a dungeon-esque crab simply because of its coloration. Um, if we take a look inside, you'll see these orange colored fleshy portions. Those are actually its gills that remain inside this exoskeleton. Now, you might be asking yourself, what is a molt? Anyways, crabs and other creatures that have exoskeletons, these hard outer surfaces, it includes things like um, spiders and ants. The way that they get large is they actually have to shed this outer exoskeleton in order for them to grow. So this crab has lifted the back of its exoskeleton up crawled out and left all of this behind. So it leaves its gills, it leaves its eyes, it leaves its claws, it leaves everything. But once, it, once it's done this, it needs to regrow. So it puffs itself full of water in order to expand, and then it takes in nutrients and other minerals from the water in order for it to regrow an exoskeleton. So that is a little bit of the process Ooh, of molting in a crab.